What's up you guys, my name's Intempest and I'm gonna show you how to create melodies quickly using Max for Live's Mono Sequencer. The Mono Sequencer for Max for Live has some really awesome parameters that can help you create melodies, tweak them and add on to them really quickly. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use it because I think it's really useful. Let's get into it. So once you download Max for Live, you can find the Mono Sequencer in Max's MIDI effects. And you can see it right here, and you can drag it into your audio effects rack here in a MIDI channel. You're going to want to drop in a MIDI instrument, and you can see I already have one loaded in. And the mono sequencer goes before that MIDI instrument since it's affecting the instrument's MIDI. The mono sequencer is really powerful, and it has a bunch of different functions that can be really helpful in different ways. But I'm going to focus on a couple of functions that I think will help you create melodies really quickly. So this is a fresh instance of the mono sequencer. And the first thing that we can check out is what key you want your melody to be in. And you can do that with this section here. So with this little drop down here, you can pick the root note that you want your melody to start at. So for example, let's pick F sharp. And with the drop down menu from uh, just to the right of that, you can now pick the key that you want your melody to be in. Let's pick Aeolian Minor just to make it really easy. Now the thing that you can do is either you can ch uh, pick and choose what notes you want in each step just by clicking and dragging. But what you can also do to come up with melodies really, really quickly is uh, hit this random button. And what this random button will do is the mono sequencer will choose a note uh, randomly for each step and you can also adjust the randomness to have a higher range for the mono sequencer to choose from and that's really helpful because now each step is playing a different note and you can start getting melodies really quickly the thing is uh, doing it this way though the notes won't be in the scale that you set in order to do that really quickly you can hit this conform to scale button which will take all of those notes and make sure that each note fits in the scale that you set with these two bottom drop-down menus. So now you can be sure that each note in the sequence is going to be in the key that you set. If you see when I stop the mono sequencer, the Mono sequencer will play wherever I ended or whatever note, whatever step I ended on. And that's not particularly helpful if you're trying to create a, a looped melody. In order to fix this, what you can do is go to this transport here and you can see that it says free. What that means is that the mono sequencer will play wherever you ended it. So if you click that button, now you can see it's highlighted to say sync. Now that means that the mono sequencer will play the first note in the sequence. Another useful tool for creating your melodies is to be able to turn off certain steps in the sequence. That way you don't have such a straightforward melody. And you can do that with these small blue boxes on the bottom here. And now um, those notes in the sequence won't play. You can also adjust the pulse of the melody and how many steps you actually want in the sequence. Right under with this drop down menu labeled pulse, you can pick a bunch of different uh, timings for your melody, and I'm just gonna keep it at 1 16th for now, but you do have a bunch of options. And your steps here, you can adjust to however long you want your melody to be. So if you wanted eight, you could just type in eight, and that'll make that sequence smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at 16 for now. Another awesome tool is that you have uh, a swing option here, which can be really helpful. So just clicking this button and turning the swing on, and you can adjust the percentage of the swing however much you want it to be. 
You can also adjust the velocity, the octave, the duration of the note, and a repeat function with the mono sequencer. So we could go into velocity and change them individually by clicking and dragging the specific step values. But we can also go into uh, the randomize button again and hit random and have a bunch of different velocities. You could do the same for octave, the duration of the note, and this repeat function will repeat certain sections or that certain step in the sequence. So let's say we like the melody that we have right now, but we're looking to build off of it for a different section of your music. What you can do is use this knob here and you can see that it says pattern one right now. This mono sequence that we have that we've been working on is our pattern one. And you can see if we use this knob, we can switch to pattern two and you have patterns that go, uh, you can make up to 12 patterns with one instance of the mono sequencer, which means that you can go into a different pattern and do the same thing that we did to create a different melody. And we can conform it to the same scale, adjust the velocities, the octave, the duration, and the repeat. And we can have a completely different melody super quickly that is still an F sharp minor melody. What you can also do to build off of a melody that you created is to use this copy paste function in the mono sequencer. When you hit copy, uh, you just copied the entire instance, this entire pattern in the mono sequencer, and you can move to another pattern. So let's say we go to pattern four and you can paste exactly the same values that you had in pattern two. And then you can build off of that. You can make a bunch of different melodies with the mono sequencer, and then you can cycle through them with this pattern knob. And once you have a few that you really like, you can now bounce out that MIDI information into a new MIDI channel so you can start arranging it in Ableton Live, or just be able to have more control over the MIDI information. To get the MIDI information from the mono sequencer onto a new MIDI track, we'll go ahead and create a new MIDI track. And in the MIDI from section here, you'll go ahead and make sure that this MIDI channel is getting its MIDI from the MIDI channel with the mono sequencer on it. In this case, it's the smooth lead channel that we have here. And once we arm this track, the new MIDI channel track, you'll see that the MIDI is starting to be registered in the new MIDI channel. Now what we can go ahead and do is go into the new MIDI channel and hit the record button on one of these clips and it'll record pattern one from this mono sequencer. So now you can see that that MIDI information is now inside a new MIDI clip on the new MIDI channel. And let's say we also wanted to get MIDI from a different pattern in the model sequencer. We can set that pattern, let's say pattern two. And now you can record another clip in the new MIDI channel to have that MIDI information as well.
So now you can see that many information has been recorded as well. You can also now have control over each individual MIDI clip and MIDI note. So you can change the values however you'd like or take out certain MIDI information. And in order to hear this new MIDI in this new MIDI channel, you can go ahead and drag the MIDI instrument from the mono sequencer channel and place it onto the new MIDI channel and hear that MIDI uh, played. And just like that, we have two new melodies that we've created using the mono sequencer. You can continue this process and make a bunch of different melody ideas for your new project. And you'll have a bunch of ideas to choose from. And it's a really great way to create melodies really efficiently. So there you go, guys. That's how you can create melodies really quickly using Max for Live's mono sequencer. Be sure to like the video if you guys found this to be really valuable. Subscribe to the channel for more content. If there's anything that I didn't cover that you would like me to cover, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'll get back to you really quickly or make another video. Once again, my name's in Tempest. Thank you guys for checking out the video.